Well, Ben, Sarah, it looks like he influenced this race quite a bit. Trump's stamp of approval coming just four days before the primary, but enough time to energize Republican voters. Levy also crediting Monday night's FBI raid of Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate, saying it pushed Connecticut Republicans to turn out to the polls. I want to congratulate everybody in that beautiful room and everybody in the state. Trump cheered on now victorious Republican Senate candidate Leora Levy Tuesday night. I promise to bring national attention to this race. The country knows that Connecticut is in play and that Connecticut matters. Levy secured the primary win, beating party-endorsed challenger Themis Claritus by 11 percent. That result a surprise to many. It does make you wonder what's happening to the Republican Party here in the state of Connecticut. Levy's win backed by Trump could illustrate a shift in the state GOP further right. Connecticut Republicans historically more moderate, but Levy says residents' views are in line with hers. I have no concerns because the issues affect everybody in the state. Could her more conservative views be a problem now come the general election? There are a good number of moderate Republicans that want nothing to do with Donald Trump. And, and then, of course, you have the large block of unaffiliated voters. Do you think she could sway any of those unaffiliated independent voters here? That's going to be hard. Uh, yes, I, I believe so. And if they do come to her campaign, it, it could very well be due to attack ads against Blumenthal as opposed to presenting her own views. I reached out to Democrat incumbent Senator Richard Blumenthal for comment. In a statement, his campaign wrote, Levy is way outside the Connecticut mainstream, adding the contrast with Senator Blumenthal could not be more clear. Now the focus turns to November and Trump's endorsement could carry Levy all the way to Washington. Some say it's still too early to tell with low turnout Tuesday unofficial results. So just over 20 percent of Republicans actually voting live in the studio. Emma Wolforst, Fox 61 News.